Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about Ketumon by Ram V. But first I want to remind everyone about the giveaway I am doing where you could win the Ketumon of East End Omnibus. All you have to do to join in is make sure you are subscribed to the channel and leave a comment on any video I post during the month of August. There's only a few days left so make sure you leave those comments. Catumon of East End Omnibus, of course, Ed Brubaker's amazing run on Catumon, Darwin Cook's classic art, how can you go wrong with this? Okay, now onto the actual video. As always, we'll start off by checking out the actual covers for the issues. Ram V started writing for Catwoman during Joel Jones' run. He did issue 9 here with a variant by Stanley Arjun Lau. Issue 14 with some awesome artwork by Mirka Andolfo. And if you haven't, do check out my review of the Catwoman by Joel Jones. I had quite a few things to say about that. And here, issue 15, again, Stanley Arjun Lau variant cover. I also recommend you go back and check out my videos showing off my Arjun variants as well as my top 10 Arjun variant covers. Now, after Joel Jones ended her run on Ketoman, Ram V wrote a short story in the Ketoman 80th anniversary one shot connecting both runs before finally starting off his series in Ketumon issue 25. Here we have a variant cover by Liber Mejo before moving on to Ketumon 26 where Jenny Frizen starts off her series of variant covers which will last throughout Ram V's whole run. Absolutely amazing work as always by Jenny Frizen absolutely love her as an artist, definitely check out my video showing off my variant covers done by Jenny Frizen. Again, her style just showing off pure beauty on every cover, absolutely gorgeous every single time. She also did a variant covers for Wonder Woman and actually had a pretty long series with that. I unfortunately missed that whole run because I wasn't collecting back then. Uh, it's honestly one of my biggest regrets when it comes to collecting uh, comic books. I definitely need to track those down, but uh, I wasn't gonna make the same mistake again here. And uh, I definitely got every single one of these. Uh, it was a double win for me, I mean, I was already uh, reading Catwoman since I enjoyed Joel Jones' run so much. By the way, do check out my review of that, it's actually pretty long and uh, honestly, I have quite a few things to say about that. <laughs> uh, so I was already reading Catwoman, I was already enjoying Ram V's work, so this was a no-brainer. Uh, again, these uh, variant covers by uh, Jenny Frizen were just an amazing bonus. And what a bonus, as we can see, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. And here we see some uh, other characters other than uh, Catwoman. It's not just Selina. We get a glimpse at uh, jo uh, Jenny Frizen's version of uh, the Gotham City Sirens. And here we go, issue 38, the end of Ramvi's run, but I also want to point out the annual he did for Catwoman. Absolutely awesome job, I will talk more about this later on in the video. Now, as I've mentioned, Ram V first wrote Catwoman issue 9 and it was an alright fill-in issue, you know, nothing too special. But then he did issues 14 and 15 and uh, it was a two-part story and man, it was such a record scratch moment for me because this was good, I mean real good. Of course, it was helped by uh, Mirka Andolfo's gorgeous art. 
Check out my reviews of her Mercy and Unsacred series. Absolutely love Mirka Andolfo. But back to Ram V. So he did this uh, two-part story and uh, it really surprised me with how well it was made. I mean, again, definitely check it out. Uh, it was an absolute shock. Seriously. Uh, just look at this. Especially since it had uh, this page. Ladies and gentlemen, you have eaten well. What an awesome homage to Batman Year One. I mean, from this alone, I absolutely loved Ram V. And I definitely hoped he'd return to Catwoman. Because again, awesome, awesome homage. Of course, he uh, adds some more lines. <laughs> It kind of breaks off uh, towards the end of the page, but uh, just this panel alone. How can you not love it? And here we go, Ramvi starts off his Catwoman run with Catwoman 25. It was a special issue containing three shorter story arcs and uh, it was very important to me because it definitely showed even from this very first double spread here that Ram V got both Selina and Ketuman. There's this grace, this playfulness, just Ketuman kicking ass. All three of these aspects are so important to the character and Ram V definitely showed here that he understood that. Absolutely, absolutely love this. I love this issue, again, because Ramvi basically told us, hey, I got, I've got this, don't worry. It also uh, kind of tied up some stuff in other series, like here we get to see how Bruce Wayne got his fortune delivered in Luke Fox's account, all of this happening in the Batman series by James Tynion, and of course, Wrapping that up, we get to see Selina returning to Gotham and setting up in Alleytown. Of course, here the art by the late Jean-Paul Leon, absolute tragic that we lost such an incredible um, artist. But again, at least we get uh, this final short story where we could enjoy his uh, wonderful, gorgeous work. So Selina setting up home base in uh, Alleytown and again talking about the most imp important aspects of Catwoman, her grace, her kicking ass and of course her playfulness definitely displayed in this sh uh, third sh short story where uh, we get to see the point of view of this cat here, analyzing Selena, going through her daily routine. And uh, again, I definitely recommend you read this because it's such a joy. I mean, <laughs> the cat here takes itself way too seriously. <laughs> and uh, actually tries to rob Selena. Things don't go as planned, but uh, again, there's such a playfulness, and uh, Ram V definitely explores it, shows us what he understands uh, out of the Catamon character, and uh, basically, basically assures us that, hey, Things are gonna be alright. And they are alright. Issue 26 here continues introducing us to more elements of this run, including our main antagonist, Father Valley, hired by the Penguin to basically punish slash take out Catwoman. We'll see more of him throughout this run, and man, he's such an awesome character. I don't know how Ramvi did it, but he created something special here. And uh, definitely check out 
the Katomon Annual, where we get to see Father Valley's backstory. And I'm not gonna spoil it, but it does involve a certain order of a certain Saint Dumas. That's all I'm gonna say. We get to see him here. Really good stuff. We also get to learn more about Alley Town, how it's basically split up. The West is controlled by this guy here, which basically runs the drug um, illegalities, let's call them, while the Southeast is uh, run by this woman here, basically controlling the port. Of course, they have backup in uh, this uh, crooked cop here on their payroll making sure that uh, the police stay out of their way. Of course, none of them can stop Catwoman as she quickly becomes the queen of Alley Town. And that's basically the first issues of Ramvi's run, just Catwoman kicking ass, again, taking over territories, establishing herself uh, as uh, the ruler of this part of Gotham City. But again, she already has some bigger problems to watch out for. And I don't think I can emphasize enough how cool it is to see Selina just kick a ton of ass, taking over territories, making sure no one bothers her and that uh, those who do are quickly taken care of. She wants to become the queen of Alley Town she does become the queen of Alleytown, and uh, these first issues, again, absolutely packed with some serious, serious ass-kicking. Of course, I have to give a shout-out to Fernando Blanco. His uh, artwork here definitely helps. I mean, we saw more of him in uh, Joel Jones's run, but he definitely shines here. Again just seeing Selina establishing herself as the ruler of Alley Town. Awesome stuff. And between all the explosions, all the action, we get glimpses of Father Valley just showing up in short bursts, interacting with uh, Selina and we feel the danger that looms over Catwoman. He doesn't outright attack her, you know, just there, again, his presence is definitely felt. Uh, and uh, again, Ram V just did an awesome job establishing this uh, character as a real threat to Catwoman. As well as bringing back some old characters. Just look at this. Where is this run going? Absolutely crazy stuff. Speaking of art, starting with issue 29, we get Jordi Belair on colors and we get stuff like this. I mean, Fernando Blanco's artwork, again, it was already amazing, but the colors here. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. If you want to see more Jordi Belair, do check out my review of the Black Widow series by Kelly Thompson. There, Jordi Belair did the colors to Elena Casagrande's artwork, and again, absolutely gorgeous. Getting back to Ram V's run, so we are seeing Catwoman here establishing herself as the queen of Alley Town. We get to see the threat of Father Valley. We get Poison Ivy. You'd think Ram V's had enough, you know, but no. We also get White Witch, a cyborg ninja, continuing the action that just washes over this whole series. And again, just a look at this. Absolutely gorgeous and Again, non-stop action, keeping us pumped up. The series just does not stop, man. Seriously, 
amazing work by uh, by Ram V. And like I said, always in each issue, for a few panels, we get Father Valley. Let's never forget about him. And especially, Catwoman should never forget about him. And it all builds up to Catwoman 34 and the big confrontation between Selina and Father Valley. Everything's led up to this. Alley Town definitely went through some serious stuff. Again, as a huge lead up to the final showdown between Catwoman and her nemesis here. The stakes are through the roof. I mean, just look at this. And like Ram V's accustomed us by now, just total non-stop action. Again, just Selena kicking ass. Definitely uh, getting her ass kicked. <laughs> but uh, some really, really good stuff. And again, the uh, high stakes here. I mean, come on. Absolutely amazing stuff. I could not believe I was reading this. Again, starting off with issue 25. We're at issue 34 here. It's been 10 issues and uh, Ram V has not missed a bit. This could have been the best Catwoman run. Heck, even better maybe than Ed Brubaker's. What happened? This is just issue 34. In my review of Catwoman by Joel Jones, I complained that DC Comics basically failed both Joel Jones and Catwoman by introducing the character to their needless Year of the Villain tie-in event. Catwoman had no place there and it definitely derailed Joel Jones' run. Fortunately, she did manage to stick the landing, but uh, more than that, in my review, go check it out. Well, now we are with uh, Ram V here, and believe it or not, DC did it again. This time with their Fear State event, again, absolutely derailing Ram V's run, taking Catwoman, taking her out of her uh, feud with Father Valley, inserting their dumb magistrate stuff from the Batman uh, series, absolutely needless, and just ruining these uh, final issues. So I praised issue 34, issues 35, 36, 37 here, absolute garbage. I could not believe that DC managed to do it again. And just look at this. We get Harley Quinn, we get this character, and man, so Jim Steiny and the fourth taking over the Batman series after Tom King's mess. And uh, at first he started off great. I mean, first of all, he wasn't Tom King, so that was a plus, but he introduced new characters. He had the designer and everyone was, whoa, so cool. And then he introduced Punchline and people just lost their minds with her. And then as uh, the series went on, he had Ghost Maker and we went, okay. And then Miracle Molly and it's like, dude, and then the gardener here, and he wouldn't stop. And this is what all of that led to. By now, when uh, this whole fear state stuff was happening, uh, James Tynion was basically checked out of uh, the Batman stuff. He just didn't care. And this whole event was an absolute mess. And again, hey, keep it, at least keep it within the Batman series, but no, they had to sp uh, spill it 
all over uh, some uh, other uh, characters, you know, in the Batman um, family. Nightwing uh, had some tie-ins, but uh, in my opinion, Selina here definitely suffered almost the most, considering how well James uh, Ramvi's run had been to this point. But this was absolute garbage. Seriously, I could not believe the shift in quality. And again, it was still being written by Ram V, but uh, I don't know. First of all, there was nothing he, he could do. The whole event was an absolute mess, but his writing uh, uh, absolutely suffered. Like James Tynion, it also felt like he just noped out and just didn't care. I mean, seeing Harley Quinn uh, being written here, it's like um, she has special needs. Seriously, it's absolutely gross. And uh, again, I don't know how you could go from 10 issues of pure perfection, like 10 out of 10, to this unreadable garbage. I honestly am not exaggerating. This was embarrassing. So issues 35, 36 and 37. There's still one issue left. And we saw in uh, Joel Jones's run, she managed to stick the landing. She got her Catwoman back and she ended her um, series on her terms. How did Ramvi um, fare here? Very poorly, unfortunately. I mentioned Ramvi had already checked out, and uh, here, to add insult to injury, we lost Jordi Belair and Fernando Blanco for colors and art. Everything looks off, and again, Ram V just wasn't in it. Even the conclusion to Father Valley and his entire feud with Catwoman is embarrassing, honestly. I cannot fathom what led to this. Again, having such strong 10 issues to end on such a low note. I mean, just look at this. Look at this. Embarrassing. Seeing Catwoman struggle, becoming queen of uh, Alley Town, all of it for it to end like this with uh, two ca uh, characters monologues with, uh, we'll see, Clayface acting as the solution for every problem because he could change appearances and that was it. Ending with the uncertainty, I mean, again, Joel Jones really stuck the landing here and gave us such a worthy ending with hope for the future, you know. This, this just goes, where's Catwoman now? Oh, I don't know. She could be anywhere. Yeah, but where exactly? I don't know. Treating it like uh, it doesn't matter, ultimately. Again, one of my biggest uh, disappointments in comics, honestly. Uh, mainly because, again, those uh, 10 issues were just perfect. I could not believe the quality we saw there. And uh, for all of that to end like uh, like this, to lead up to this again, embarrassing, seriously, that's the word for this uh, ending and uh, ultimately for this run because it was, uh, it was a shame. It's a shame that we had to see this. It's a shame that we had to see DC fail Catwoman again. 
Okay, and that was it for my review of Catwoman by Ram V. What could have been the best Catwoman run ended up as a huge disappointment. I can't believe this year ruined another series for Serena back to back now. At this point, I have to genuinely think they absolutely hate the character. Seriously, the fact that they did it once with Joel Jones, sure, okay. The fact that they did it again with Ram V just after the Joel Jones run and in the same manner, it's absolutely insane to me. Again, one of my biggest disappointments. I definitely recommend you check out those 10 issues. Check out the annual. There's amazing stuff in there. The final issues, however, are just absolutely gross, honestly. It's just unreadable garbage. And uh, again, it was clear that Ram V checked out at that point because unlike Joel Jones, he couldn't stick the landing here. Uh, his final issue was actually his worst one. Again, too bad for Catwoman, too bad for Selena because she definitely deserves better. I love the character and I was hoping that we would get better with this run. This wasn't meant to be. Don't even get me started at what uh, followed up with uh, Teeny Howard. Uh, but yeah. Again, thanks so much for watching this video. I'm honestly sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna apologize on DC's part for this disappointment. Uh, but I hope at least this uh, review was helpful to you in some way. If you enjoyed it, again, maybe leave a like uh, for this video, maybe subscribe. Don't forget about my uh, giveaway and I'll uh, see you all next time. Bye.